Hey, what's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Cornerstone Quick Tips. My name is Josh Donnelly, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at how to create reusable aspect ratio elements natively in Cornerstone. And I promise you, it is super easy once you know the steps. So without further ado, let's dive in. First things first, let's start with one of the most common aspect ratios, which is 16.9. We're going to create a new section down here to work in to take a look at how we start this. And I'm actually going to do this without our row and column containers I'm gonna hold down the command key here and click on div so I'm adding just a blank div into our section here and this is going to be the base for our element so I'm actually gonna click on this div and I'm gonna give this a name just so that we can all tell what we're working on here we're gonna call this aspect ratio base and then just to make sure that nothing overflows this base, I'm going to set our X overflow to hidden and our Y overflow to hidden as well. Now, the only other thing I need to do here is actually add the proper percentage for our aspect ratio. And in this case, it's 16.9. So what's the percentage? Well, if we come over to a site like w3schools.com here, they break down for us the corresponding percentages for each aspect ratio. So here we have 16.9 at 56.25%, 4.3 at 75%, 3.2 at 66%. 6.66% etc so we're gonna jump into our aspect ratio base we're gonna scroll down to padding we're gonna turn that on we're gonna make sure that our linked sides is unlinked and on the top padding we are going to add 56.25 percent for the 16 9 aspect ratio now the next thing we want to do is add another div inside of our aspect ratio base and now within this div we need to add just a couple of simple styles the first thing we're gonna do is click on advanced on our lower layer, we're going to add the image element. Click on our plus sign here, and I have a 16.9 placeholder here, so we'll go ahead and add that in. Now, there should be a box that is shown all around this, so you can see right now it is not supporting our 16.9 aspect ratio. But scrolling down further in the inspector here, I'm going to find the position controls, and I'm going to change this from relative to absolute. And I want it to be absolute zero. So I'm going to click on this here. And now our 16.9 aspect ratio element is looking pretty great, but you're not seeing the full effect of it here. So let's go ahead and click on our aspect ratio base, come into our manage element controls, and we are going to save this as a template and we'll call this 16.9 aspect ratio and click save. Now let's actually do our 4.3, which is 75%. So let's come in here. We'll change this image that's 16.9 to our 4.3 placeholder. And you'll notice that it isn't respecting the 4.3 size here. And we know that needs to be 75%. So let's jump back down to our base. And where we have 56.25%, we're going to make that 75%. And now our 4.3 aspect ratio is being respected here. So let's make sure we have our base selected. Go to Manage Element save template and this time we are going to call this one for three aspect ratio and then finally i'm going to do one more here which is our three two aspect ratio so let's click on that one here and insert into post and yet again you'll notice that the three two aspect ratio is not being respected here we'll click on base let's go to w3 schools and look at what three two is grab that right here jump back into cornerstone and change our 75 percent to the three two aspect ratio percentage there make sure that our aspect ratio base container is selected go to manage element save template and we'll call this one three two aspect ratio now why am i saving these as a template well you'll see these are completely reusable now in the future so let's add another section below the fold here and here's what we want to do we're going to add in three columns here in the first column we want our 16 9 aspect ratio and that's looking pretty good now in the second column we want our 4 3 aspect ratio and notice that it preserves the aspect ratios there and now in our final column we want 3 2 so let's go ahead and do that and there that is preserved as well and now any image that is added into one of these containers here is going to respect the aspect ratio that was set as always i hope you guys find these videos useful and i will see you guys in the next video happy building